since food plays a part in almost every part of our everyday, it really has to be dealt with aggressively rather than passively. If we eat because of our frustration, we have to change that. And you, all of you can do this. Some days I just want to scream out and say to people, we have an answer. You don't have to be like this anymore. You just do not have to be a fat, overweight, unhealthy man any longer. You don't have to do this anymore. There's an answer in here. For instance, our, my good friend Ken Williams, who's now passed through 60 pounds as of this morning. Could you stand, Ken? <laughs> Most people think of this as a diet. And they're answering in their mind ahead of time, I've been on those before. I've tried to lose weight on a diet. Because most people look at this as a weight problem. And they don't look at it as anything else. I've got a weight problem. People think about things where dieting is concerned. They don't really understand the menace it is to us as human beings. But once you get in here and you understand this, and you talk to a few people, and you open your minds, and you open your eyes up, and you look around you, and you hear what's being said, and sometimes you hear what's not being said between the lines. Why are other men coming here like yourself? Our sedentary lifestyle compounded by computers, cars, and television sets, because we just sit all the time, don't we? That's what our life is down to. What is this really all about? First of all, it's about mind conditioning from the past. Food plays such a major part in our lives that we are taunted and coerced into eating things, even if people know that we are overweight and suffering the consequences of it. What you ate and how you thought about yourself is the primary reason for your joining this support group. And to make the change from poor health to good health, from overweight to a healthy weight, from where you are to where you want to be, you'll need a total life transition. And not just a weight loss. And we must stop beating ourselves up and take control. And once you get into a groove here, you finally get into a groove, you get to understand that we do not have to spend one moment longer being like this and that all the payoffs are just negative. It's all about learning and it takes time and if you give yourself the time and have the patience, you can get the dreams that you need for yourself so that you can be there 15, 20, 25 years from now down to the weight you want to be at. I teach, you work. That's what teachers do. And that's what pupils, students, people are being mentored, counseled. That's what you do. That's what I do when someone teaches me. I take the information and apply it to my life. You see, here I'm just a messenger. You have to ask yourself, how bad do you want this? Decide not to make this a total life transition. And you can run from me. You can run from this room and never come back again. And you can refuse to believe this and run from these thoughts. But there is one person you cannot run from. You cannot run from yourself.